Biggest shark myths of all time. Myth number one, sharks will die if they stop moving forward. This is not true for most species of shark. What it comes down to is how they get oxygen into their bloodstream. Some sharks can actively pump water over their gills, providing them with a steady flow of oxygen-rich water, even if they're totally motionless. This is why sharks like the nurse shark or lemon shark can comfortably lay down on the seafloor to rest, relax, and work on their suntan. Other sharks, including the mako and gray white, do need to keep swimming forward to provide themselves with oxygen. Or else, yes, they will actually die. Myth number two, sharks never sleep. This is mostly false, but it depends on how you define the term sleep. Sharks don't close their eyes like people do, and they certainly don't curl up on a mattress with pillows and their favorite blankets. But they do alternate between active periods and resting periods. Some sharks can be seen laying on the ocean floor, oftentimes in hidden areas, doing what can only be described as resting. Even sharks that continually swim can be seen in states of very low activity, positioning themselves against the current so their gills continue to receive oxygen. More difficult to answer is the question of what's going on inside of their brain during these states. Do they dream about eating tasty fish? Are they completely unconscious? Are they wide awake but simply resting their body? While it's not totally clear what they experience while resting, most researchers agree that they're probably in a state of lessened conscious activity. Myth number three, sharks are immune to illnesses like cancer. This belief has created an entire industry of shark-based alternative medicine treatments, such as shark cartilage pills, to treat your cancer. Many people in the Western world accept these junk science claims and waste their money on these shark-based remedies, sometimes even foregoing conventional medical treatment for their cancer in favor of these quack miracle cures. Books sold online boldly make this promise with titles like Sharks Don't Get Cancer, How Shark Cartilage Could Save Your Life. Buy my book for the low, low price of $66 today. This claim is simply not true. Scientists have seen sharks with visible tumors and cancerous growths for well over a hundred years now. The medical claims are also bogus. The FTC fined a company $1 million for falsely claiming that shark cartilage products are effective cancer treatments. Snake oil salesmen meet shark oil salesmen. Myth number four, shark fins have magical curative properties. This belief is common among Eastern alternative medicine practices. And again, it's simply not true and not grounded in any actual science. Hence the term alternative medicine instead of simply medicine. Myths like these are not just silly, but they also cause loss of harm because they lead to the mass killing of sharks to harvest their body parts. Millions of sharks get captured and killed each year, oftentimes cruelly having their fins cut off while they're still alive and struggling. All of this to create a bunch of shark potions that are no more effective than a placebo pill. Myth number five, Megalodon still exists. While this would be extremely cool, there's really no good evidence to believe this. The experts tell us that Megalodon died out several million years ago. Maybe it's conceivably possible that some small isolated populations still exist in the world somewhere, but it's just not that likely that something as massive as a megalodon would have gone undiscovered for all this time. This doesn't stop TV networks from producing show after show with tantalizing titles like The Hunt for the Megalodon. Does megalodon exist? Myth number six, sharks are extremely dangerous to people. Many shark attacks on people are actually thought to be mistakes on their part where they believe to be hunting other prey animals like seals or sea turtles. A person sitting in an inner tube, a surfer swimming on their board. Viewed from below, these can closely resemble the silhouette of a shark's typical prey animals. Unprovoked shark attacks on people are very rare. We typically see between 50 and 90 shark attacks each year, with less than 10 fatalities annually. 2,000 people are killed by lightning each year, and falling coconuts kill 15 times more people than sharks do. Humans are way more dangerous to sharks than sharks are dangerous to humans. Get back over here. For every human killed by a shark, we kill about 2 million of them in return. Sharks kill about this many people per year. Humans kill about this many sharks per hour. Scrolling, 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 still scrolling, and now we finally reached the bottom. I read a comment on a shark encounter video that said, holy crap, that was a dangerous encounter. That man could have eaten that shark alive. The media tends to greatly overstate how dangerous sharks are. The very rare occasional shark attack will get wall-to-wall -wall coverage on local news because in the media, if it bleeds, it leads. In fact, because there are so few shark attacks each year, this actually makes it easier for the media to mislead people and make them terrified of sharks. When the number of deaths each year are literally in the single digits, small year-to-year -year fluctuations can translate into seemingly huge percentage changes. 
This is why you should be skeptical when you see news stories with headlines like shark attacks on the rise. Sharks killed 50% more people this year than last year. That could literally just mean that instead of six attacks, there were nine attacks that killed people. Statistically, changes that small are almost meaningless and hard to distinguish from random variation. But it's very easy to take those numbers and turn them into powerful clickbait news articles that make us afraid of sharks. The fact of the matter is that you're just very unlikely to be killed in a shark attack. Myth number seven, sharks are completely harmless to people. Yes, while we just saw that the danger of sharks is greatly overstated, some people push it too far in the opposite direction and act as if sharks are these completely harmless, cuddly creatures that just want to snuggle up next to you and be your best friend. One famous video clip features a shark researcher standing in shallow water totally surrounded by a large group of bull sharks. He's doing this to try to prove the point that sharks are harmless to people, and while he's there trying to make that point, one of the sharks bites his leg and very badly injures him. You happen so fast. There's nothing I, I, I could have done. Someone wrote, how about not stand in the ocean surrounded by sharks? Someone else said, one time I stuck my hand in a beehive and got stung. I couldn't believe that happened either. At the end of the day, sharks are predators. They hunt things, they kill things, and they eat things that are in the water. Sometimes this does include humans. While it's rare, it does happen, and it really shouldn't surprise us. What else would you expect of an apex ocean predator? We can appreciate sharks and want to stop the killing of them without acting foolish and lying about about how harmless they are. What are some other common shark myths that you hear? Post a comment below. Link in the bio to support my videos on Patreon.